Hello students, welcome back. We are doing factorization chapter 8.2 from class 9th book of West Bengal Board of Secondary Education. And in our previous video, we have completed till question number 12. And today we'll start right from question number 13. Okay, so this is question number 13. 3a square minus b square minus c square plus 2ab minus 2bc plus 2a. 2ca. This is the expression given to us and we are asked to factorize this, isn't it? So let's factorize this. So what we do first is we write this minus b square minus c square and minus 2bc together and make a perfect square, okay? And rest of the numbers we write together. 3a square plus 2ab and 2ca we write together, okay? So 3 3a square plus 2ab plus 2ab plus 2ca 2ca we write this together and after that we will write this minus b square minus c square and minus 2bc together and make perfect square so let's take minus sign common okay when we take minus sign common the numbers which are negative will become positive and the numbers which are positive will become negative isn't it so when we take minus sign common okay when we take minus sign common this minus b square will become plus b square okay minus c square will become plus c square okay and this minus 2bc will become plus 2bc so this is b we can consider as a and c we can consider as c so this becomes a square plus 2bc 2ab plus b square isn't it a square plus 2ab plus b square a is b and b is c okay now this 3a square we write as it is plus here we can take 2a as common because 2a is in both the terms 2ab and 2ca here also we have 2a here also we have 2a isn't it so we can take 2a common 2a is taken as common now within the bracket remains this b 2ab we took 2a as common this b will remain within the bracket plus this 2a is taken common so c will remain within the bracket isn't it minus this is actually a square plus 2ab plus b square means a plus b whole square that is b plus c whole square isn't it equal to 3a square 3a square plus this we can write as 2ab plus c can be written as like if we have 2x we can write this as 3x minus x isn't it because 3x minus x will give us 2x so let's assume this as x a b plus c can be assumed as x so 2x is there so 3x minus x will give us 2x isn't it so what we write is 3 a b plus c minus a b plus c okay 2x can be written as 3x minus x 3x minus x is 2x so 2 a b plus c means 3 a b plus c minus a b plus c so 3 times of a into b plus c minus a into b plus c will give us 2 times of a into b plus c isn't it 3 minus 1 is 2 okay now here we write b plus c whole square b plus c whole square okay or from these two terms we can take 3a as common because we have 3a here and 3a here as well isn't it so when 3a is taken common what do we have inside the bracket here we had 3a square so 3a is taken common which means a remains within the bracket plus this plus sign we write here 3a is taken as common so this b plus c will remain within the bracket b plus c isn't it minus this minus sign we write here from these two terms we can take b plus c common because we have b plus c in this term also and here also we have b plus c so we can take b plus c common isn't it so b plus c is taken as common now within the bracket we have this a we write here because b plus c into a will give up will give us a into b plus c so minus into plus isn't it minus into plus is minus 
minus into plus is minus. Now we had b plus c whole square means 2 times of b plus c, isn't it? So 1 b plus c is taken as common. So next b plus c will remain within the bracket b plus c. Okay, which means b plus c into a, a into b plus c minus into plus minus b plus c into b plus c, b plus c whole square. Okay, now again we can take common a plus b plus c. In this term also we have a plus b plus c and in this term also we have a plus b plus c. So we can take a plus b plus c as common. a plus b plus c can be taken as common. Now within the bracket we have 3a, isn't it? This 3a can, 3a should be within the bracket because 3a into 3a into a plus b plus c, we took a plus b plus c as common. So 3a remains within the bracket minus this minus we have here. Let me write this as curly bracket, okay? This minus we write here. a plus b plus c is taken as common. So this b plus c will remain within the bracket, isn't it? Now, a plus b plus c we copy as it is this 3a okay so minus into plus is minus b minus into plus c is minus c so this is the solution for question number 13 i hope you understood this now let us move on to the next question question number 14 okay now let's do question number 14 so this is the expression given to us and we are asked to factorize this isn't it so let's copy this x square as it is minus 2x okay now we have 22,499, isn't it? So this number can be written as 22,500 minus 1. Because when we subtract 1 from 22,500, we get 22,499, isn't it? 10 minus 1 is 9. This 0 becomes 9. This 5 becomes 4. This 2 we write down as it is. This 2 we bring down as it is. So 22,500 minus 1 will give us 22,499. So instead of this, what do we do is we write this minus 1, okay? But we have negative this number. So we write negative 22,500, 500, 22,500, negative 22,500. Let me write clearly. Negative 22,500, positive 1. Okay, signs are different means we have to subtract 22,500 minus 1 is 22,499. Sign of greater number comes, so sign of this greater number minus we write here. Okay, now what do we do is we bring this plus 1 before, okay. x square minus 2x, this plus 1 we write here and after that we write this minus 2, 2, 5, double 0 equal to so this expression can be written as can be converted into perfect square okay so this is x square this x square we write like this minus 2x can be written as 2 into x into 1 2 into x into 1 means 2 ones are 2 into x is 2x plus 1 can be written as 1 square okay minus this 2 to 5 double zero 22500 means 225 is the square of 15 isn't it so 15 we have double zero means single zero squared okay which means 15 squared is 22500 sorry 225 and zero squared is double zero 150 squared means 22500 when you multiply 150 into sorry 150 into 150 150 you get 22500 225 means 15 squared double zero means single zero squared okay now a squared minus 2ab plus b squared that is a minus b whole squared isn't it a squared minus 2ab plus b squared means a minus b whole squared minus this 150 squared okay now this can be assumed as a and this can be assumed as b so a squared minus b squared is a squared minus b squared is a plus b 
into a minus b so this is a a minus 1 x minus 1 is a plus b is 150 into a minus b a is x minus 1 minus b is 150 now this x we write here as it is minus 1 plus 150 means opposite sign so we must subtract this 150 minus 1 is 149 149 okay 149 sign of greater number is positive so we write here plus after that x this x we write here as it is 150 is negative and 1 is also negative same sign means we must add so 150 plus 1 is 151 so we are using negative sign so negative sign comes here as it is so this is the solution x plus 149 into x minus 151 is the solution for question number 14 okay i hope you got this now let's move on to the next question okay now let's do the last question of this exercise question number 15 so we have x square minus y square into a square minus b square plus 4abxy first what we do is we multiply these two expressions and then we continue okay so first we multiply x square into a square after that x square into b square and then we multiply with y square both the terms okay so x square into a square x square into a square is x square a square or we can write as a square x square okay plus into this minus is minus x square into b square is x square b square or we can write as b square x square isn't it minus into plus is minus y square into a square is y square a square or a square y square same thing okay minus into this minus is plus y square into b square is b square y square b square y square after that this 4 a b x y can be written as 2 a b x y plus 2 a b x y okay 2 a b x y plus 2 a b x y is 4 a b x y now what we do is we write all these positive numbers together okay this 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 and this and make a perfect square a square x square after that b square y square after that 2 a b x y so let me write this first plus 2 a b x y plus this b square y square b square y square okay now we have minus this minus this and we still have 2 a b x y isn't it so let us take minus common when minus sign is taken as common the numbers which are negative will become positive okay so first we write this minus b square x square will become plus b square x square this plus 2 a b x y will become minus 2 a b x y after that minus a square y square will become plus a square y square isn't it now this a square x square can be written as a x whole squared okay plus this b square y square can be written as b y whole squared b y whole squared means b square y square so a x we assume as a and b y we assume as b so we need 2ab here isn't it a square plus 2ab plus b square isn't it so 2ab means 2 into a is ax and b is by okay so a square x square ax whole square means a square x square plus 2ax into by so 2 into ab into xy 2ab xy 2ax into by means 2ab xy plus b square y square b square y square b y whole square with b square y square minus here also we do the same thing b square x square we write together b x and then whole square okay b x whole square and this a y whole square a y whole square after that we need minus 2 a b isn't it so this minus we write here 2a is bx b is ay plus so 2ab 2b into a is ab ab 
x into y is x y okay nothing is changed we just arrange the numbers we didn't change the value okay so now this is a plus b whole square because a square plus 2ab plus b square means a plus b whole square so a is ax plus b is by a plus b whole square minus this is a square minus 2ab plus b square this is a minus b whole square bx is a minus a y is b a y a y whole squared okay a plus b whole squared minus a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared means a minus b whole squared now we can see this as a and this as b a squared minus b squared <coughs> a squared minus b squared is a plus b into a minus b so a plus b a is a x plus b y a plus b okay b is b x minus a y this is a plus b now a minus b a is a x plus b y this is a minus b is b x minus a y b x minus a y okay this is b now we write this as it is a x plus b y a x plus b y plus b x minus a y a x plus b y plus b x minus a y we copy this as it is now here we open the bracket okay a x plus b y minus into plus is minus b x minus into minus is plus a y okay so this is the solution for the last question of this chapter question number 15 i hope you got this if you understood the concept of this chapter okay then please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends stay tuned i'll upload the next chapter in the next video thank you so much